Ali's got seven out of ten. So. But this will be a bit painful for Ali to have to sit in his seat, especially if Roy makes a, a frame-winning effort here, because that was an easy red that Ali missed. Just was concentrating on getting through the gap on the black, took his eye off the pot. Yes, we often say in commentary, in commentary that the first 40 points is the difficult part of the break. The, the last 40 points is usually straightforward, when, especially when the reds are in the middle of the table like this. 17. Now, if one of these uh, reds, the three that are together, goes, doesn't have to uh, play any cannons. His only problem will be the red near the side cushion. 24. A few moments ago, we were looking at three on the trot for Carter. There's every chance now that Ronnie Sullivan's going to stop the rot and take this frame now. Thirty-one. Thirty-two. Just nudging that red means that they're not available into the corner pockets. They'll go to the middle. Quite as he would have 39. liked. Should be able to hold for the pink, if not the pink, the blue. Forty. And the pink, he's got an angle because I mentioned those two reds not being available into the corner pockets. And that's not as planned. He's tied one red up and he's left a thin snick on the other. 46. I think he was trying to get in between those two reds, push them both on. Where's the cue ball? Where's the cue ball? Seven. Well, the fact that it's finished straight on the blue, I think Ali's going to come back to the table now because somehow not only has he got to pot this red, he's got to leave an angle on pink or blue to bring the other end to play. 52. He's just looking at uh, whether he can play the cannon from the blue. I don't think he can get to the, the red from the, from the blue, so he may have to play for the brown or the pink. 52. Oh, look what he's done here. Has he covered those? Sullivan, well, I'll tell you what, I'm looking at Ali in the seat and he had a little smile and that's what he was smiling at. Ali was directly behind that and he knew that Ronnie was very fortunate there. Once he missed the pot to wobble in the jaws and leave them like this. This was all he could do. Is Ronnie going to risk coming off the side cushion, get over behind the green? If you can play a little cannon off that red, get the white summer up near there or, or in behind the brown. Just depends how thin he can hit it. He could cover everything. He's got to be pretty precise with this. That's a bit short. He's left the pot on. No option but to kiss into the second red if he takes the one that's... Uh to the left of the two, but he can possibly get through to the other one. Got to be careful he doesn't go in off that other red to the right corner, just looking at the angle, if he plays a plain ball. Oh, well, that's a mistake. I've to pot that one. Not 
not too sure whether the red that's next to the blue will pass the brown, but you can get onto pink or black from this red. Yeah, this is not easy though, is it? He made it look easy. And he's played it beautifully. And that red you mentioned, Willie, really does pass the brown. He's already 11 in front. If he plays the black, he's got a little bit of work to do with the cue ball. He's going to have to push it around two cushions as we see this excellent pot on the red. Perfect position. Well, I say perfect. He'd like to be another two inches further to the right, but he can get there from pink or black. Yeah, he's trying to work out. There's the red, but he's trying to work out if he took the black. Would he need the difficult yellow? He's 18 in front, so he's going to need the yellow, especially if he takes one of the lower valued colours. In fact, it didn't matter which colour he takes off. This. He's still looking at the scoreboard. Sometimes it's difficult just to work the score out when you're out there, but... The yellow, if he can get in behind, it's not all that difficult, but... At least playing for the blue, it means that it, he, he can get dead straight on the yellow and just roll it down the cushion. He only needs one ball, but that looks to have gone astray. I was surprised he, you know, he played for the blue. Why didn't he just stay on 14. the ball colours? Because the yellow was going to be the difficult one. The green was okay. I, I think he got himself a little confused there, Ronnie. And instead of clinching the frame, 14. he's 24 in front. So Ali could pinch it. Well, he looks to have finished absolutely dead straight on this yellow. So he can't do much with the cue ball. So he's going to try and get in behind the black here, twice across the table. Not quite. Too dangerous to play the stun shot in behind the brown because we'll be pushing the yellow up towards this left hand corner pocket and very tough at distance to get the hold. Well, he has played it. This is dangerous, but he's played it nicely. <laughs> Too well, the yellow's finished there. You see, that's why it was dangerous to play that shot. And I'll tell you what, now the yellow has finished there. There's so much room to slip around the back of it, whichever way. Ali goes. I mean, one cushion, he's got to hit it, otherwise, he'll stick it up. And I think he might have to just go the one cushion. It's as if you're trying to shoot the white into the corner pocket, hitting the cushion first. <laughs> well, if the yellow's dead straight, there's no way Ronnie can get anywhere near the green, so he'll refuse the pot. Well, he didn't refuse the pot because he's 26 in front, so it didn't matter about the green, so Ali didn't get away with that last shot. But just the one snooker needed. And Sullivan too. Brown's about the best place ball to get a snooker behind, but not from this position. So Ali's got to concentrate and try and keep that green safe also here. Well, he didn't play to pot that. Uh, Probably 
heard the slight kick there as he played that, the cue ball would have been a lot closer to the pink. It was a slight little bounce. It's amazing, it doesn't matter whether you're playing a stunner or a screw or just a little roll through, sometimes you can get a kick. He got one there, but it made no difference to the desired snooker. Yeah, that's it. The green has come up into a potable position. Disappointing frame from Ali Carter. 42 break and uh, it's gone now. He missed that easy red that we showed you a couple of times and that has cost Ali this frame which would have given him three frames in a row. Seven. So Ali Carter had an earlier break of 42 and broke down. Ronnie had a 52, didn't quite clinch the frame, but he's clinched it now. And Ronnie O'Sullivan back in the lead at 3-2. Well, back here at the practice room at the Crucible, I've been joined by Peter Ebden, former world champion, now in the camp of Ali Carter. Um, you, we were sitting here, standing here watching that first frame after the restart, and you were saying what an important frame it is. Yeah, obviously, Ronnie's done very, very well to win that rain, uh, frame. Ali got in first and missed the red, which was very, very difficult, only just went um, and uh, unfortunately presented a, a chance to Ronnie, and, you know, he's done really, really well to win that frame. How was Ali during the mid-session interval? What did you talk about? If you don't mind, give us a little bit of insight. He, he's great. He's very, very strong. He's very, very focused. And it's more of the same, really. I think he's played excellent match snooker the whole tournament. And I think he's got a real chance of winning this event. Ronnie went two frames up in the twinkling of an eye. A lot of players would have felt intimidated by that. Yeah, I mean, the response from Ali was just world class because the pressure out there, you can feel it, is just absolutely tremendous. And uh, it was just a, a fantastic response. Not many players could have done that. You know, this is the biggest occasion in the world, the final of the World Championship. And um, no, I was very, very proud of him. And it was a tremendous performance. Uh, what would your advice have been to Ali during the, the mid session interval? Just more of the same. You know, he's just been playing the right game all week, and that's going to give him every chance of winning in this World Championship. A lot has been made about the diet and things. I mean, there's all the headlines today about carrot juice, for example, Peter. Did he have